Hello, Tony Knight Dolgerson here, and this is the first of a, what are they called? Vlogs. Um, I've decided, well, I've not decided, I've been persuaded to start doing some vlogs, do some vlogging. Is that the term? I'm not sure. Um, because I'm, I'm doing some TV in Australia right now, and I'm doing some TV in the UK, and apparently that's not good enough. Uh, I'll explain. Uh, I was having, uh, having, we were having drinks with some friends yesterday from New York. Uh, here in, in France, where we live, they've got a summer house, and uh, yeah, we're talking about the TV work that I'm doing as a dog listener, and you know the show Think Like a Dog should be coming out soon, I'll be filming that in October, and uh, our friend said, yeah, that's fine, that's dandy, but you know TV's dead. Pretty much, TV's dead, forget about it, long live YouTube. And I've done some YouTube films, but not really you know, gone into it with much depth, so basically I was persuaded to do some vlogging. So here we are, this is the first one. Uh, I'm going to do this leading up to the release of my ebook as well, Think Like a Dog, and if I like it, and if we get, you know, get some good feedback, then I might carry on. Uh, hopefully I can carry on while I'm filming, you'll be able to see what I'm up to there as well. But when it comes to the first subject, what do I talk about today for my first ever vlog? Ironically, um, do you know what? It's what made us late for our meeting in the first place with our friends, because um, Hayley's over with me from Australia right now, and we were coming back from Fijak, which is a town near us, and we're driving along, and we suddenly see, on the side of the road, a car over on its roof, and the wheels are still spinning. So this has just happened, an accident had just happened. Hayley said, look over there. So we looked, pulled over as quickly as we could, we weren't the only ones, jumped out of the car and ran to see what was going on. And in the car, when we got there, we could see that there were, well, there were two people trapped. There was an old lady and her granddaughter, as it turned out. And the old lady had fallen asleep at the wheel. So um, that would be a lesson to you. You know, I've done it in the past. I've kind of just sort of, no, I can power through this. She did not power through it. Thank goodness she was an older person. Maybe that meant she wasn't driving as quick as she could have. Because, I mean, the car was a complete total. But those, those people were, were okay. I mean, shot. You know, a few cuts and bruises, but nothing major. So anyway. Um, I said, you know, here's the thing, when you see a situation like that, you think, oh my god, what do I do now? And I've not had any first aid training, I, you know, I've done, you learn stuff, don't you? Whether you learn stuff from friends or colleagues or whatever, or all the movies, and that's the thing, I'm running there thinking, well, first of all, is it going to suddenly explode, like an episode of Ray Donovan or something, or is, uh, you know, is the woman going to be, uh, you just don't know, so there's a kind of panic that sets in, but you feel you've got to do something, you've got to help out, because these people, you know, they're in trouble. So we got there, crouched under, could see the old lady sort of, you know, sort of, she just got herself out of the seatbelt. I said, Madame, can you move? And she said, yes. Because I thought, you know, it's that thing. You know, you ask if they can move, and if they can't, they're probably paralysed. So you don't do anything with them. So when she said, yes, I can move, I said, all right, don't for the time being. Just check to see there's no petrol coming out. You know, that's the whole Hollywood explosion thing. That wasn't going on. She said, my granddaughter's in the back. So somebody went around to get the granddaughter. I helped the lady <laughs> through the window of the car. We got them both sat down. Haley got the uh, the young girl, sat her on the top of this this big skip, this bin, you know, because they might be in shock. Now Haley doesn't speak much French, so the little girl was trying to explain stuff to her, and Haley's going, "Tell me what she's saying," and it's stuff like, "Is the car going to be okay?" I don't think so. So uh, you know, I said, "Well, you get a new one. Don't worry, it'll be fine." So, you know, lent the lady my, uh, uh, my uh, mobile so she could call her husband because they would carry on, they'd gone way ahead in the camping car so they didn't know what happened. And you know, made sure obviously the police, fire brigade, ambulance were called as well. And so we're starting to go, okay, we're out of our depth here, what do we do? What if they go into shock? Oh my God, what's going to happen? Luckily, at that moment, a car pulled up, they ran down the window and they said, we've got two nurses and a fireman in this car, could we be of help? Yeah, <laughs> get out of the car. So, the two nurses came over, both spoke French, so the nurse took the little girl, Hayley went, oh, thank God. You know, the other nurse was dealing with the old lady, the fireman was making sure everything was safe. And, you know, at that moment, when people who knew what they were doing turned up, you kind of think, okay, I can relax now. And finally, when the fire brigade did turn up, they're rushing out, and they're sort of making sure everything's secure, and they're asking, how many people? Hayley and I went, yeah, okay, I think our job's done now. So we just got in the car and we drove away. And, you know, the fireman said, merci, thank you for the help. But you're limited. What can you do? Now, what has that got to do with dog training, I hear you ask? What's this got to do with dog training, Tony? Thank you, Prue. Haven't you just stolen this bit from Vegan Joe? All right, don't give it away. Basically, dogs fit into our family. 
and they know that if they're as useful as they can be, everything's hunky-dory, because that's how their instincts work. They also know that somebody must be responsible for everybody. So they look to see who that is in their family, but they do it in their language. You I mean, know, that's one of the things. When you don't understand the language, you can start to have problems, as Haley found out with the young girl. But if, unfortunately and accidentally, people give dogs the wrong information, the dog takes the responsibility on its own shoulders. And dogs in the world, they do not understand. So just like us, feeling out of our depth with the road traffic accident, thinking, well, we know a little bit of first aid, but when the nurses came and said, we know what we're doing, the relief was huge. So when dogs take on the responsibility of looking after people in this world that we understand but they don't, it's unsurprising that sometimes dogs lose the plot. They panic because they don't know what they're doing, but they'll try their hardest because they think nobody else can do it. And what I teach in the, some would say, revolutionary method called Amishin Bonding is that I teach people how to show their dogs in the dog's language that the people are the ones to trust. And with some dogs, the moment you start doing that, they go, oh, thank God for that. You see them just relax. They will lie down on their side and just go, fantastic, mission over, there's somebody else that can do it. And that way you can help dogs with all kinds of problems, you know, barking non-stop, aggression, anxiety, chewing up the place, stop coming back, pulling on the lead. All that stuff comes from a dog trying to do its best to be responsible, but it's already, always going to be out of its depth. So, that'll do I think for the first vlog. Let me know what you think, you know, give me some feedback. I'm going to do some other things, touch on a few other subjects, and um, I'll keep you posted about when I'm filming for the TV show, but in the meantime, if we have a bit of fun doing these vlogs, and send me some other questions. If you've got some, you know, say, Tony, can you talk about this subject? I'm happy to do so. If you'd like to know more about what I do, my, I'll put my, yeah, put my internet. There you go, that's, that's my website. Lovely jubbly. So, speak to you again soon.